Hey guys, welcome back and new subs, welcome to. Um, last year sometime I designed an e-bike um, that I really fancied building off the back of some lithium ion batteries that I got from China. And um, it didn't get particularly good feedback, being honest. I got a lot of uh, thumbs down, but no one really mentioned why. And um, I was always expecting this bike to be heavier than the usual mountain bike due to the weight of the lithium ions. Maybe that could be it. But um, I was happy uh, with the weight on compared to Leap batteries because I get a better range. The weight's not particularly over the top heavy. And um, with 48 volts, you can move a lot of stuff. My uh, old... Um, sleep near mark one my old e-bike was really heavy compared to this bike and 60 volts move that nice uh 48 volts looks good for this bike but but it still works well at 36 volts and uh this is this bike is set up for 36 volts at the minute uh it's got a little 36 volt controller hidden there cable tied on in its usual cable tie fashion and uh, it's got three 12 volt 33 amp hour batteries in there and that's on the side of a bent over folded uh, side of a PC case um, I've took some old lights off my old sleep near and um, I've put some normal night lights on it as well as indicators right indicator and left indicator okay and um yeah it's uh it's a little heavy back end admittedly but um at the back there i put in a camera and i have a screen on the front here which is handy to stop looking over your shoulder all the time um the little controller on the left there seems happy and the voltage and current coming from these batteries uh, the controller can take the voltage and current with the whole weight of uh, the rider and the bike but if you um, rev too hard from a stop start 36 volts will bridge your controller even though I've modded this controller and uh, the electric current will jump from one side of the controller to the other and then you'll have to reset the system and get off so that should be solved with a 48 volt solution which will be a fourth battery added to the rear of this and um, then a 48 volt controller and uh, 300 watt um, m motor at the back is okay but I'll probably upgrade that to a 1500 watt more than likely um, and as you can see guys I've put on there uh, two 24 volt spotlight uh, LEDs on the front they get super hot but when you're riding it cools them anyway uh, bike fold switch is nice so it shrinks up pretty well and uh, from riding it I've really enjoyed it you can see I've been riding through the mud and it can deal with like really thick dirty dents um, uh, really grab your mud and hold you in there and you don't have to pedal or anything and uh, its range is great I don't I've not really charged it very often I, think I might have charged it say four or five times and I might have I don't know clocked quite a lot of mileage on this thing uh, a couple of hundred mile maybe um, it's a hard call uh, to guess but yeah guys um, this bike's basically revolving around its meaty backpack at the back of a 36 volt 33 amp hour and it's using the nice bright lights at the back to give road users an idea of where you're going and where you are uh, it's got pedals to keep the shrivs and the cops happy it's got a uh, decent motor in to get you to about 15 20 mile an hour ish um front screen so you're not always looking behind you uh, which i'd recommend to any cyclist anyone riding without front screen is mad to me these days because i used to do it and i'd never do it again riding without a screen and uh perfect lights for the front and plenty of electric from those batteries to power it all for mile after mile um, so yeah, I'll thank you for stopping in on this, uh, checking out this bike. 
Uh, I will do another version of this video when it's a 48 volt version with a new controller. And um, thank you for watching. And if you liked the video and if you like the idea of the bike, the design, uh, do let me know. And if you're not sure why, please let me know as well. And I could either advise on how it rides or perhaps even improve it myself. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, and I'll catch you up.